my oldest was um, yelling, not my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, not my daddy. And my, um, my nine-year-old now um, curled up in a ball and just, um, his entire body was just limp. I asked him, do you know what's happening? Do you understand what hospice means and what, what's happening? That you're, you're going to be coming home with me and you're going to die there. And he says, yeah, I, I know what's happening. I am a person that has always felt myself outdoors. I always have. Every time I'm outdoors, she's the first person that I think of. My brothers and I were sitting in a room with my dad and the first thing that came out of his mouth because I think that he was so nervous and flustered and didn't know what to say to us was, she's not dead yet. We got in the car to go home and I just had this feeling something was not okay. And the kids were getting sensitive to that also. We pulled in and his car was in the driveway and they stayed in the car, panicked, but they stayed in the car. And I went running into the house and I um, went straight upstairs. I, I knew it was over. It was one of the most uh, horrific experiences. What I realized is in order to get on the other side of grief, you have to go straight through it and feel it. My mom's death has really served me in so many positive ways. I mean, it would be a lie to say that it didn't take work to get here. I have learned and I've grown and I finally am able to look at other people and say, okay, like I am strong and you can do it too.